Hello champions, we got a brand new character to preview, this time it is Rick Rude, Hall of Fame, and he's a trickster. As usual, I don't own Rick, it's only lent to me by Scopely, so I can do this very preview at 5 star bronze, they take him away after. If we have a look at his card, it says here trainer, that's gonna be fixed because he's actually a coach, not a trainer. Uh, so it's going to be 12k, yellow move deal, 25% more damage, links with the other Hall of Famers, and no gear. So if we have a look, first move set we're going to do is the purple 2 and both greens. It is a snap suplex, 6 MP green move, deal 37.3k damage, and modify a 7x7, seven seven, so the whole board. Random Maria into Trap Gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 10.4k damage to that opponent. If broken by you, deal 0 damage and destroy 2 random column break gems. Barog, 8 MP green move, submission, play 6 submission gems and do 10.4k damage for 5 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into column break gems. And a backbreaker, 8 MP purple move, deal 46.1k damage and choose 5 gems to make into green gems. Basically the backbreaker is going to give us our 2 moves right there. The snap suplex will lay the whole board into traps and then you do the submission which means that he's going to break a whole bunch of them, get some damage while doing that and whatever is left is going to be your column break gems that you can use the remaining traps to break or just make a match yourself if you can or you can use the backbreaker to make your choose green on top of those you get many options in there trainers you could start with either woods or in this case we're going to start with uh, george Steele. also using bray wyatt to extend to nine turn or actually eight turn uh, for the submission, you could just use plus gem damage. I mean, you got many options there. Uh, I put also Bruno because he extend an extra turn plus submission, do 50% more damage. Could have used also someone like Stone Cold, for example, that extend the damage of the submission as well. Uh, but I mean, this is one of those cases where you don't really care that it lasts a long time. Uh, normally you don't really like I personally I don't like submission that lasts long because uh, Usually you want some of those gems to remain and the longer it is the less chance you have gems to remain But in this case he gets damaged when he breaks gems. So That's kind of good to have it longer and I put in also all with Ogan just to help get those two You could put instead uh, DX uh, Triple H to get more green or Andre to get more purple that would that would work fine as well all right, let's do this. We're going to go versus Bruno so that we get class advantage to even things out. He has 48 to well, 43 to 48 uh, percent damage mitigation on gem and 18 percent on move. On my end, I got 15 percent more health. Gem do 15 percent more damage. Gem do 10% more damage. That's the bonus that all, all of Famers have, plus the 10% more health. 10% less damage from all move. That's standard. 20% more health. That's, I'm guessing, a monthly bonus, because I don't know where that comes from. Yeah, yeah, it's the bonus to all, all, uh, all, all of Famers. Sorry. Uh, all color moves start with 3 more MP and match plus 2. Those are the MLC bonus. And we got the 20% more damage because we're attacking a uh, uh, technician. All right, well, let's do this. All right, so we're gonna lay those traps. Submission now. Uh. 
Now he's going to do damage to himself. Right, can I break one of the traps? Looks like we're uh, not really lucky on that because I can't even break any of the traps that are left. Uh, and I can't get any green and I can't get any purple, so we're really out of luck on this one. Okay, now I can break. Perfect, that filled or purple. He just did himself a little more damage there. I'm not going to do more than that. I'm going to replace some of those. Not going to do more than that because I want to stay on my turn. Now we're going to put the traps again. And a submission again. There's a good chance that he's not going to get out of this one. He's definitely not getting out of this one. This works really good. That cleared it. This looks really good. All right, let's look at something else. All right, small variation of what we just saw. Instead of using the purple two, we're going to use the purple one finisher. This is the Rude Awakening 10, 10 MP purple move finisher deals 66.4k damage and choose six gems to destroy and pin the opponent. This is another way to select some of those uh, recurring uh, column break gems that are there or even just break a trap to break some of those column gems that would work as well. Uh, it costs a little more though, might be tougher to get going. Uh, you could use, uh, we're going to use the exact same trainers we just used, but you could use also either JBL or Jimmy to boost that. But I really like the long uh, submission on this build so we're gonna keep going with that same opponent same thing just switching a move I don't even know if we're gonna need it but we're gonna see it All right later traps Let's put the sub gem. Normally, you kind of want to have the sub gems down so they have less chance to be, to, give, to get broken. But the CPU barely ever touch the sub gems when they're on loot boxes, so that's why I tend to put them on loot boxes. Other than that, I try to put them all the way down because there's less chance of them getting broken there. See, they're, they're laid out, so we could broke three of them there, but that's been... It stayed there for four turns and he didn't touch him. Alright, that's perfect, because now I can break those. That gave me my purple, and that's breaking everything now. Now I can put traps. I think I'm gonna do it anyway. I 
Obviously don't have anything interesting to break. We're going to take the two greens there is. And other than that, I'm just going to grab some purples. I don't even want to... Like normally I could get those two that would make those break. But I want to have as many traps remain. So I'll take just the minimum I can and try not to cause any cascade. I want him to break them from the pin itself. And now we're going to do the submission, which is going to do the rest of the job, basically. And for this, I'm going to put them on top, because this way, it's not going to break any of the traps. Although he's probably going to use the four there. No, he didn't even do that. And he's dead. This worked pretty well. I think I prefer the other one better, but this felt really similar. I can't say the purple move was much of a factor in eight on either move set, really. All right, let's try to look at something completely different now. All right, other move set. It's going to be the purple tree, which is a five star move and both reds. It is a pointed elbow drop, six MP red move, deal 41.8K damage and choose six purple gems to destroy. The DDT one MP red move, deal 16.8K damage and choose a two by four area to make into row break gems. And a spike pile driver, 8 MP purple move, deal 46.1k damage, and choose 5 gems to make into red gems. Trainers we're gonna use for that. If you don't have the uh, the perks, I'd say go with Big John Stud and Sting. If you do have the perks, it only costs six to have that move. So you can use the DDT to put those row break, and you're gonna start with four red MP anyway you're going to get them on the second turn anyway, unless you're really, really, really bad lucky. So for me, in this set, I'm going to be using Big John Stud to create four more reds, I'm using Luke Harper Powerhouse here to destroy five more reds with the uh, pointed elbow drop, I'm using Lacy Event so that purples and greens will do 20% more damage, and I added all of Fame Lita for an extra 5% red damage, as well as creating one extra red from the Spike Pile Driver. All right, let's try this. That'll fix my uh, red right there. We want to get too many of them. Gonna put it like that. Because I'm going to pick those purples to break. Harper really ain't needed here because you're basically never going to have that many. Probably should have went instead with Slick Rick. just for more damage. Uh, well, let's pick all of them like that. It's gonna clear the whole board.
this. That. Mm, close to the whole board. <laughs> Like three gems remaining. I'm getting out of that. This is obviously working pretty well too. Alright, let's have a look at something else. Definitely should go with Slick Rick instead of Arbor. Arbor turned out pretty useless for this. All right, this time we're gonna see a variation of what we just saw. It's gonna be again the red, red, but purple one. So this one can be done much earlier than five star. So we're replacing the purple move with the Rude Awakening, which is 10 MP purple move, finisher deal 66.4K damage, choose six gem to destroy and pin the opponent. Now I switched up the trainers too. Uh, we're going to be using JBL so that we're destroying more air or choosing more to destroy. We're going to be using Slick Rick also so that uh, we're going to have all those gems do more damage. We keep Lacey there and I added Typhoon here because he does add 15% more damage to red and we're probably going to have some red in there. So let's do this. We're going to see how this goes. Right. Not too bad of a first turn right there. Choose six to destroy. Actually, ten to destroy, not six. And we're gonna pick some extra purples from the rows that I ain't getting destroyed, and the reds as well. We got all the important gems from the two rows we ain't touching. And we got a whole bunch of red as well, 327k right there. And he's not getting out of that. It worked out pretty damn good as well. Uh, pretty much everything we tried worked out pretty damn good. So that's pretty much, I think, we're gonna have a last look at the moves but i'm pretty sure that's that should be all let's just double check and it covers pretty much everything i really like the one with the bunch of traps i mean it's traps it's submission it prevent him from getting mp even if the match lasts longer, you're pretty much draining his MP all the time. So that's probably my favorite, but they all work pretty well. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.